Hi everyone, it's Diane and this is the Angel Hug for Tuesday the 11th of June and the theme for this week is liberation and the cards I'm using today are the Unicorn Deck by Diana Cooper and I'm just going to see what um, aspects of liberation we'll be addressing today. So, um, Feather, this calling card from the unicorns tells you they are near you. So it's a day to be aware of signs from the angels, signs from the unicorns, signs that we're not alone. And they might be feathers, they might be coins, they might be songs on the radio, they might be things that you hear, they might be billboards and banners or anything at all that you come across while you have this question in your heart of how can I liberate myself from this place, thing, situation or consciousness. So it could be a way of thinking that we want liberation from today and it's just going to be a very powerful day for asking for that liberation and then looking for signs that our prayers have been answered. And I'm going to pick another card from the Saints and Angels deck. They seem to be lighting up so I'm just going to give them a quick shuffle just to add to that message. So we've got practice makes perfect. Okay I love that. So if you are learning how to get answers, learning how to get responses to the things that you're concerned about, learning how to get guidance, how to notice and see guidance from the angels, from the unicorns, from spirit, from divine presence, just keep going with it. Today, Tuesday is going to be an important day to, to just practice it, to have another go. It came up last week, so it's obviously a message that's reminding us that practice makes perfect, that we might not get it right the first time. I love this deck. This is the Saints and Angels deck by Doreen Virtue. The pictures are just so beautiful. The colours are, are just divine. And um, I'm just going to show you that. So it's a picture of an angelic being practicing the harp. And as I talk about that, I'm also being guided to mention the aspect of uh, practice that involves learning a new skill. So today is going to be a really important day to remember why you took up this new thing, this new hobby, this new practice, this new instrument, this new way of working or connecting with people or this new business, this new idea, and to not give up at the first hurdle, to keep practicing, to keep working at it. Because if you are seeing this as a way of liberating yourself from your current circumstances or current job or anything like that, try to remember what it took for you to learn the ropes on that thing when you first started it and just be patient with yourself give yourself time it feels like it's going to be a very important day for realigning with our mission realigning with our purpose but remembering that you know there's a myth going around in in the spiritual community that if things fall into place naturally and easily then they're meant to be and if they don't then they're not well sometimes when they are meant to be yes they do I mean it can be uncanny how easily things fall into place and the, the synchronicities and the signs and just the magic of being in flow and that impetus and how it can pull us forward and show us things, show us the way, show us that we're on the right path. And yet also sometimes when we are trying to master a new skill or a new way of being or a new consciousness, we are also out of flow, not just because it's not the right thing, but because we have resistance within us, resistance to learning a new way of being, resistance to feeling that we really deserve to be on this new path, or resistance to feeling that we should have to, you know, a lot of indigos and light workers are a bit rebellious, why should I have to practice the piano, I just want to be Mozart now because I should be able to channel Mozart. So basically it's just a card about being grounded, Tuesday's a day for being grounded about what we need to do in terms of focusing on disciplining ourselves to learn new things, to practice new things as a means of an ultimate liberation. Okay, so that's it for Tuesday everyone. Have a great Tuesday and I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.